Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There's a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid, and I think we're going to see it be successful here. And we're underway. Alderweireld. De Bruyne. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Lovely bit of skill there. Witzel. Swept in. Could be a chance here. Has a hit! The outcome could so easily have been different. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Starting the game at a pretty decent tempo. Plays it out to the flank. Pings it in. Witzel. Hoists it forward, now it's Lukaku, and here's Mertens, Lukaku, and the shot! Just off target, a more than decent attempt, Peter. Poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Neither the 
the side, yet able to find the net. That's a chance to shoot! Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and his team. Well positioned to make that interception. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Witzel, Torgan Azar, Azar. Here it is, Mertens has a shot! And they've been caught out here. Azar with the delivery, great lead! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Trout calling for him to shoot. The point drives it forward. What a chance! Enough try. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Been intercepted. Torgan Azar. Now it's Mertens. And helps available out wide. Real chance! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Lukaku did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Bruin picks it up from the goal kick. Forward it goes. Torgan Azar. And here's Mertens. Quick glance and tries a shot! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. delivery and all it needed was a touch well look it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle but that was beautifully met it really was Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Approaching half-time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? Well, that had to be more accurate. Needed a better pass there. He's making good use. Hits one!
feet it right. Oh, good play all round. He was well hustled and, and still got a shot away. But it's Mertens. Torgan Hazard. Witzel. Up he gets! Oh, denied brilliantly! Lukaku simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. This possibly the last play of the half. Decent try. <laughs> Up to meet it. Time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Gets things going for the second half. Finland need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Hazard. Witzel. Hazard. And once more, they can't get through. Denaya. Vertonghen. Torgan Azar. And it's Lukaku. Now, where's he looking? De Bruyne has set up one goal so far. Hazard with the delivery. Plays it out to the wing. Hit into the mid. Big chance! So calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position but it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business that. certainly made things interesting well what a convincing response to going behind they've got all the momentum now De Bruyne De Bruyne and he's whipped it in low It's all. Now it's Luke. Lukaku has a go! Goal! Ball 
Belgium! And they're back in front! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Belgium are making a change now. Belgium take the lead. It's a throw in. It's come through, it's Lukaku! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. A swift reaction then, and the boss opting to reshuffle his defence. Yeah, and that's not totally surprising. The manager obviously felt his defence needed reinforcement. He can't afford a, a repeat. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Mertens chills one in. Goes for goal! Tries to get it forward quickly. The Tongan gets into the right position to intercept. De Bruyne. Shoots! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? The changes then in quick succession. He's got options out wide. Heads it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. De Bruyne. Finland really aren't helping themselves. They're not seeing enough of the ball. Vertonghen. Just a quarter of an hour to play. Tielemans, Torkan Azar, and here's Azar, Tielemans, De Bruyne, striding forward, facing goal, massive leap, 
He scores! Two up now, and they are cruising. What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, that has changed the dynamic somewhat. And it's Lukaku. Has a hit! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Still a cracking effort. Really looked like a man on a mission the way he went through on goal. And it's played forward. Lukaku. Now it's Mertens. Lukaku. He's had a shot! Time for a change in personnel. <laughs> and it's Azar. Tielemans did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Has a pop! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Shot a goal! Carrasco goes looking. Played out to the right. Mertens provides an outlet. Mertens. Mertens plays it backwards. Has a pop! Has a go! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, class really did tell on this occasion, Peter. There was a vacuum between the teams and one got hoovered up. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.